we're back. Our day is finally here. The day where two become one. The day where all of your sweatshirts become mine, even though they already are. The day where we will always be cheering for opposite baseball teams. But most importantly, the day where we will choose to love each other over and again each morning. Looking back on our relationship, it is amazing to see how far we have come. From me barely saying yes to our first date, to knowing that yes was the only answer to spending forever with you. From being rivals in just about every sport, to the compromise of becoming a Packer fan. From swearing that I would never fall in love with a Cubs fan, to marrying one today. We not only have come so far together, but you have also helped me to grow as a person. You have taught me how to have fun and let loose during stressful times. You also have tried to teach me how to properly kick a football. And well, I'm still working on that one. But most importantly, you have taught me how to love myself. <gasps> oh my gosh. July 5th, 2018. I said I love you today. Uh, it took a while for you to respond, just like when I asked you out, but you did eventually respond. I'm writing this because I know someday we will get married. You have no say in it, sorry. And I figured you'd want to do one of these sappy letter readings, so I'm just getting ahead, not procrastinating by writing this letter. Anyways, back to the uh, stuff that will hopefully make you tear up. From our first date, I knew we were something special. We clicked and had a bond that I knew would last. We probably got a long ways to go before you're reading this and whenever your parents approve of me, but they'll come around eventually and I cannot wait for that day to surprise you with the ring and have a great wedding. At this point, hopefully you've teared up a little bit and I want to make you cry and ruin your makeup. So I'll see you out there. May 5th, 2021. I've kept this letter in my wallet for almost three years as motivation to do everything right in our relationship for you and to marry you. Because if I didn't marry you, the letter would have been such a waste of time. Kidding. I know from our first date, you were going to be my wife. And since then, my mind has continued to feel that way more and more. It has been a wild ride since March 1st, 2018, when we had our first date, but I wouldn't have wanted to ride it with anyone else. I love you and cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Brock Joseph Rice, you never cease to amaze me. You always know how to make me laugh and help me to live in the moment. Even though I hate surprises, I will always love yours. I am so thankful for you and that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you with all my heart to center field and back. Yeah. Oh, you look so good. So do you. Thank you. I will get a letter. Goodness. Goodness. Okay, I'm doing good though. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm sucking in. You didn't mm. cry too much. I'm going to cry all day. Welcome to the most important day of Brock and Joylin's life together. Today, promises will become permanent. Two will become one, and friends will become family. On behalf of Brock and Joylin, I want to thank you for your presence here today. As we witness in the presence of God and each other the joining of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Brock, do you intend to take this woman whose hand you hold to be your lawful, wedded wife, and pledge before God and man to love, honor, and keep her through sickness and health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself unto her as long as you both shall live? Till death do you part, do you so promise? I do. Joy Lynn, do you intend to take this man whose hand you hold to be your lawful and wedded husband? The pledge before God and man to love, honor, keep him through sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself unto him as long as you both shall live, till death do you part, do you so promise? I do. Now, by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ in accordance with the laws of the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brock, you may kiss your bride. I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brock and Joylyn Rice.
about being best friends. We've shared a lot of memories together, from riding bikes to winning state championships to snowboarding on the coldest day of the year to now standing next to you on a special day. I'm glad that you were the one that completed our family so that I'd have a best friend to create some of the greatest memories with you. I remember when you first started telling me about Brock. It was all we're just friends, which turned into I think he likes me, which then turned into I think I might like him, and now we're here today. I'm so happy you found someone to love and who is your best friend to create new memories with for the rest of your life. You completed our family, but as we've all grown and gotten married, we've each found another piece that we didn't know our family needed. I can speak for all of my siblings when I say that we are so happy for you that you found Brock to be the last piece in our family. We just didn't know a Cubs fan would be the missing Cubs. <laughs>